week three of our Joy to the World series. Let's go ahead and recap our last two main points. It was Jesus came to bring good news to the world. Last week we learned that Jesus came to bring joy to the world. And this week it's Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Here's some peace symbols you might be familiar with. Do you recognize those? Okay, and we've been talking about some family traditions in this series. Let's go ahead and check out these Calvary kids and what some of their family traditions are. Go. For Thanksgiving, I pray and I give thanks to my family. And we go around the table. First it's me, first it's the kids, and then it's the adults. And we give thanks to each other. It is very um, cool and very giving because we give each other hugs and just give thanks to each other. My Christmas tradition is that every year we play elephant and me and my uncle, we always win. So nobody beats us. Those are some fun traditions, you guys. Okay. So today we are learning about the birth of Jesus. This is what we've been leading up to. So pause here and read Luke 2, 1 through 14. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this video from Carl. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hey kiddos, it's so great to see your little angel faces. Aren't y'all excited for Christmas? I can't, I can't even describe how excited I am. Now don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. Besides National Nacho Day, it's probably my favorite holiday ever. But when it comes to holidays, it could be one of the most stressful times of the year. I mean, think about all the things you have to do on Christmas. You gotta clean the house, make a ton of food, buy presents, wrap those presents, then go back to the store because you forgot your cousin Keith is visiting from Milwaukee, write thank you notes, shovel snow, eat the shovel snow. You know, it's just so much. And you know, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. It's just all so crazy. I just, I just feel like I need to take a deep breath. It's just getting my head all fuzzy. It's cute, it's fuzzy. Um, Carl? Hello? Carl, are you there? Oh, hi kids! Have you seen Carl? I was supposed to meet him here and I don't see him anywhere. I have a gift for him. Gift? Linda? Linda! Hi y'all, it's my friend Linda! Carl, you scared me! What happened? Where were you? Oh, me? I was just uh, down there. On the floor? Why? Well, to be honest, I think I'm getting a little stressed out. Really? Why? Well, it's just a lot. What is? Christmas! There's just so much to focus on. It's making me a little flustered. Flustered? Yeah, flustered. Like a duck at a supermarket. Well, I don't know about that, but I bet I have something that can help you become unflustered. You have ice cream? No, but I do have a gift for you. Look down. What? <gasps> Beef jerky? How'd you know I used this as a deodorant? Um, I didn't. I just knew you liked it. <laughs> anyway, did that gift make you feel better, Carl? It sure did. It's like the stress just all faded away. <laughs> the power of jerky. <laughs> well, I'm glad because that's what Christmas is all about. Wait, Christmas is all about beef jerky? I knew it! No, oh, that's not what I meant. You see, we were all given a gift a long time ago that brought the whole world something very special. All right, Linda, tell me what we're talking about. Well, for the past couple of weeks, we've talked about everything that's been leading up to the birth of who? Jesus, of course, it's so exciting. It really is. So Joseph and Mary were heading to Bethlehem and they tried to get a room at an inn. Is an inn kind of like an old motel? Exactly, but guess what? The inn had no more rooms and Mary was about to give birth to Jesus. Oh no, so what'd they do? 
The person in charge of the inn told them that they can stay in the cave-like space below the inn. It wasn't quite a room, but it was something, I guess. Isn't that like where they kept all the animals and stuff? It is. The animals needed shelter from the cold at night, so they would be gathered up there sometimes. It wasn't an ideal space for a family, especially a mother who was about to have a baby, but Mary and Joseph didn't have anywhere else to go and something amazing was about to happen. <laughs> wow, I bet you they're pretty nervous to be in a messy situation like that. Man, cold too. Too bad they didn't have any family or friends to talk to. Well, believe it or not, just nearby, there were a few shepherds in the field taking care of their flock. Oh cool, so they saw Joseph and Mary? Even better, an angel appeared to them and they were told not to be afraid because the angel had come to give them good news. <laughs> I love good news. Me too. The angel told them that the savior had been born and that they can find him nearby in the manger. Then they said something that was truly good news. You can read about it in Luke chapter two, verse 14. They said, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Wow, that is amazing. What a gift. What do you mean, gift? I mean, listen to them. I mean, they're praising God and telling them that God's peace is gonna be with them. What a gift. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Carl. Wow, this really helps me understand that Christmas is just so much more than gifts. More than cleaning and food and family. It's about knowing that God sent Jesus to be our savior and giver of peace. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Life can certainly get busy and stressful, but when we remember why Jesus came for us, life can feel like something we can manage. And then we can start to feel peace. Now, just like your gift made me feel better, I feel like the peace that Jesus has given me has made me feel even better. Like, true joy. Man, I wish everyone could feel like this. That's the cool thing, Carl. They can. Everyone can feel just how you're feeling now. Mm, really? How? Well, once people begin to understand who Jesus is and why he came, then people all over the world will receive the same joy. All over the world? Of course. I mean, the gift Jesus gives is free to everyone. To you, to me, to people who live in Europe, Asia, Africa, all the Americas, and even Antarctica, Carl. Wow, I never thought about that before. I'm just so glad that Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Well, you heard it from Carl. Our big idea for today is Jesus came to bring peace to the world. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Woo! Great job, kids. I hope you all had as much fun learning about the birth of Jesus as I did. Merry Christmas, everyone. Or as we Koreans might say, Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. What a great lesson. I love that Jesus came so we could have a relationship with God. That Jesus came so that we could have peace like no other. Maybe you're wondering, what does that mean that Jesus brings peace? You see, when sin entered the world, it separated us from God. And when Jesus came, he was the savior that the people were wanting. He would later die on the cross for our sins. Here at Calvary, kids, we call it the ABCs. Admit that you're a sinner, believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and see, call on him. And all that means is to pray. If you believe that with your heart, then Jesus will come into your heart and he will be Lord of your life. Jesus is the bridge between us and God that sin separated. And that's what makes him a peacemaker. Jesus gives us peace like no other. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this cartoon to recap all that we just read. Our story begins with Mary and Joseph at the end of their long journey. They had just arrived in a place called Bethlehem when it came time for the baby Jesus to be born. There was no other place for Mary and Joseph to go. 
So Jesus was born where the animals stayed. They wrapped the baby up and put him in a manger. What's a manger? It was what a lot of animals ate out of. Near the place where Jesus was born, there were sheep and shepherds. Shepherds are people in charge of watching after the sheep. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and they were really scared. But the angel told them not to be scared, because the angel had good news. Jesus was born, and they could go and find him lying in a manger. Just then, a lot more angels flew all around them, thanking God for what God had done, and saying that there should be peace on earth, because Jesus came to bring peace to the world fun little cartoon to watch. Okay, maybe you have more questions about Jesus being this bridge between us and God. Jesus is the greatest gift that could ever be given to each of us. And him being Lord of our life is something that here at Calvary Kids, we want you to have as well too. If you have any questions, please talk to your parents, someone that brought you today, or any of your leaders. We would love for you to accept this free gift. Okay, we've been learning new languages each week. Let's go ahead and recap our last two weeks. Alegría al mundo, alegría al mundo. Joya nel mundo. Joya nel mundo. Great job, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and see this new one to see how to say joy to the world. Radość dla mira. Radość dla mira. Radość dla mira. Luke 2, verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.